I've got to congratulate you. You took the first and most important step in creating your new body. Now let's take the time to learn how to do all these exercises in the ab trainer system. The first three of the five exercises are on the ab trainer itself. And it's very important that you take your time and learn to do them exactly right. Remember, it's not what you do. It's how you do it that's going to be part of your success. So Monica's here to help us. And we're going to start with the basic crunch on the ab trainer. And take a look at the neck position. It's real important to scoot right up so the neck is fully supported. And the, the, really the base of the neck and the top of the shoulders is right against the bottom of the pad. That prevents any undue stress on the neck and maintains proper cervical alignment. That is really important. Now, Monica, go ahead and reach up through the top bar. There you go. And we're going to start the exercise by just curling up. Don't think about a thing yet. Just curl right up. And now hold it there for a second because we want you to let go of the head. There you go. And you notice the neck, mu neck muscles relaxing now. And that is key. You see the natural tendency for everybody is going to be to use these neck muscles because we've conditioned ourselves to do that. So stay here for a second. Let those muscles go. And you can see Monica's neck relax. And now lower the self yourself slowly with the abdominals. There you go. And then use the abdominals to pull right back up. So tighten and crunch right through it. As far as you can crunch with the abdominals, control, and right back out. Let's do one more of those. Let the head go and crunch through. Full contraction, constant contraction. Don't rest. And right back out. Now, practice that a few times. It'll end up being one of your favorite abdominal exercises. And let's take a look at the second one, the oblique exercise. It's real simple. For the right oblique, we're going to take the legs over to the left. Notice the knees and feet are staying together the whole time. Then I want you to take the right arm and just cross it over slightly, pointing out about 45 degrees. The rest is real simple. You've already been through this. Let the head relax, tighten the oblique and the abdominals, and crunch right in through the motion the ab trainer provides. Nice and controlled. Maybe a three count up and a three count down so that you're really not using momentum. Very controlled. Lots of hard work on the abdominals and the obliques. It'll be the perfect motion because the ab trainer takes care of that for you. Control all the way through the range and control back out without relaxing. That's critical. Nice and smooth. Now let's take a look at the left oblique this time by bringing the legs to the right, knees over here, keep them together, feet together, and take this left arm and cross it over the top, pointing again about 45 degrees, this time to the right. And this time you're going to see the left obliques as she crunches up, letting that head rest, working hard right here all through the obliques, and still some work in the abdominals in this area. This is a perfect exercise, really isolating these areas. Key areas for the spine. Keeps constant tension. That's perfect. Now, go ahead and go back to the center for a second. The third, the third of these abdominal exercises, and it's a great one. Bring these legs up. So you're going to hold your legs up. You can keep them slightly bent, or you can straighten them a little bit. But keep them above your hips, straight up in the air. Now, this is going to be called a reverse crunch. And we're going to initiate this crunch by just barely curling in on the ab trainer. And hold this position in your upper body. You've got to keep it there. And now the trick is to lift the pelvis off of the floor. Nice and slow, holding the upper part. It may not move very far, but remember, we're more concerned about how you're doing it. Take your time, nice and slow on the way up, really controlled and slow on the way down. Perfect. Go ahead and rest. With those exercises, we have completely covered the sides and the anterior portion of your trunk, the critical stabilizers and movers, and the part that flattens your stomach. Now. Throughout the next few days and few weeks, you're going to get stronger, and progression is going to be the key. So I'm going to show you just a few tricks, a few ways that you can make this thing a little tougher, a little more intense for these abdominals. The first thing we can do is called the double crunch. And Monica's going to help us out with this again. You're going to bring the legs up to the position like the reverse crunch, only this time your upper body and lower body are going to move together simultaneously. So let's take a look at that, Monica. Tighten and pull with the abdominals. Remember, the key is not to lift this or lift this. The key is to move from the abdominals. So you concentrate right here. If you don't feel your abdominals working, I don't even want you to move. Take your time to do it right. And this is perfect. Notice her pelvis coming up off the floor just a little bit at the same time as she curls from the top part. 
The head is still resting on the ab trainer. Go ahead and rest. A little tougher there. It's a good one. Don't even worry about trying it until maybe you get a little stronger with the initial three exercises, though. A couple other ways we can make this tough. You can bring your arms down and just rest them on these elbow pads right here. That changes the leverage a little bit, makes it a little tougher. But the rest of it's easy. It's just a regular crunch. Come right on through there by tightening the abdominals. Don't forget, relax that neck. Don't worry about your head and shoulders. And go right back out, curl in as far as you can, right back out, and rest. Just another variation. And there's some other things you can play around with here. You can create variety with this thing. Yeah, it looks like you're doing just the same thing. You're not. For example, I can have Monica crunch in on the count of three, nice and slow, and then control down with a count of five, really emphasizing the control of the eccentrics, or what we might call negatives. There you go. So come up with three, one, two, three, and then control down with five, four, five. There you go. We can also come up to the top and just sustain the contraction for a couple seconds, all the way in, really trying to crunch those muscles, making them powerful, getting a good contraction, and then slowly work down from there. You have a lot of opportunities for variation. Now, you remember we talked about five exercises in this entire program. To talk about these last two, I'm going to bring in Dr. Darden. Hey, Tom. Have a seat right here with me. Thanks. Let's talk about these things. So we've got two more exercises. Tell me a little bit about those. Yeah, well, we concentrated here on the midsection at first. So now we want one exercise for the upper body and another exercise for the lower body. Okay, so what are those two? All right, the first exercise is a version of a push-up. The okay. second exercise is a squat for the thighs and the hips. Can we take a look at those? Let's let Mon Monica help us on both of them, All if right. she would. Yeah, we'll we'll slide this out of the way. Tell me about this push-up. All right, this is a modified negative push-up. She's on her knees, mm -hmm. and she's taking a slow 10-second count to lower herself. 10 seconds is really slow, really controlled. Now, when she gets to the bottom, she cheats getting up. She uses her back, the thighs to help her get up. Okay. Another 10-second lowering. This is a negative push-up. So show us how to get up now, Monica. Show us how you're going to not use your arm muscles necessarily. So she's cheating to get up. And this is important for a lot of you out there. You don't have to be able to do an army-style push-up from the beginning. Right. You're just lowering. And if you're on your knees, it makes it that much easier. The whole secret is progression. We start with what you can do, not with what you can't. So she's working her triceps, her shoulders, and her chest muscles here. Good upper body muscles. Good. Now, to make it harder, she can get on her toes instead of her knees. And she was anxious to get harder on yeah. this, weren't you? <laughs> now, this is the tough way to do it. Men will do it this way and some women, but most women will have difficulty. They'll have to work up to it. Yep. Again, 10 seconds to lower yourself. Now, notice as she goes down, the resistance, the concentration is on the upper body, and she wants her chest in front of her hips. Right here is the hardest part, mm -hmm. when you're about an inch off the floor. And she's not sagging. Like you said, the chest goes right. down first, and that chin's out, I noticed. So a great upper body exercise to add to the three ab trainer movements. All right, let's take a look at that final one, the wall right. squat. Wall squat. Monica, right. stand right up here. Now, since we don't have a wall, I'll be the wall. Tom the wall, okay, right? Okay, Tom. <laughs> okay. Now, Monica wants to get her feet about 12 inches from your shoe. She wants to ease back into a parallel position. Squatting. Top of her thighs mm -hmm. with the floor. The calves are parallel to the, to the wall or your leg. So she's holding that for 10 seconds, Tom. Then she's going to slide up. Right up the wall. But don't straighten that knee quite. And then back down again for another 10-second sustained contraction. So she keeps the constant contraction by not locking out, right? That's correct. And she's doing six of those the first workout. Okay, and, and then, then adding one each workout. And then one on. rep each workout after that. Yes. yes. Perfect, Monica. Thanks a lot. <clears throat> Okay, so that's the resistance training part of this system, right? Right. We had the other two parts, the, the diet plan, the, the eating, eating plan, plan, right? And we've also got the super, super hydration. hydration. All equally important. That's what I wanted to hear. We cannot leave out any of those segments, that's right? That's correct. That's it. Now listen, it's going to be real important for you to put this tape back in anytime you have questions about the performance of the exercises. You've got to do them correctly. It's not what you do, it's, that's right, it's how you do it. And don't be afraid to use the customer service number. Also, there's some great tips in the booklet. So go, go through that real thoroughly. Take your time and learn everything you can. And listen, 
You got the best tool available. You got the best information that exists. The rest is up to you. And I know that if you stick with this, you'll change your body. You'll change your life.